Hello everybody, Fantastic Mr. LP here with Let's Play Long Live the Queen. In the last episode, we died from a magical duel. I'm gonna try to do things a bit differently this time. Um, so this time I am mastering uh, logistics and uh, naval transport this time. So, let's see how this works now. Okay, it's not gonna work now. Cause we're too late. Right. I loaded the wrong save. Well, okay, let's just skip past all this so I don't throw up from using that voice. Uh-huh, 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 yeah, okay. All right, yep, let's accept his terms, uh-huh, okay, yep. da 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 magic, okay. And try dazzling him this time. You throw out a dazzling shower of sparkles, hoping to blind him, seize the event, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, let's try, uh, something different. <laughs> let's see if our improved naval strategy will work. Hello everybody, Fantastic Mr. LP here with Let's Play Long Live the- Oh wait, wait, no, sorry, this isn't- This isn't an entirely new episode, I forgot. This is just, uh... Yeah, this is just a carry-on from, uh, from when we died. Sorry, I forgot. Anyway, I'm gonna try, um, uh... Should I master naval strategy anyway? Yeah. All right. Let's master naval strategy, and then uh, practice with our swords some more. Cause in case the naval strategy fails, okay. You study difficulty of a sneak attack at sea and always ways it can be achieved. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have nothing more to learn about naval strategy. We're getting better and better with our sword. Um, now we. Uh, what, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm just so nervous with the war. Oh, yeah, yeah, the war hasn't happened yet. Uh, this is where we learn about the war. It's cool. Let's recruit some soldiers. Uh, let's direct the fleet. Yeah, direct the fleet. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, so. So, she's saying that we can't do it. Uh, so it's hopeless, yeah. Alright, what's our mood again? Alright, so we're definitely, uh... Yeah. So, plus one willful and plus one angry. There we go. So we're still back to willful again, but we still have a quite a nice bonus in, uh, you know, swords. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, God, sorry, I'm a uh, total loss in my mind right now. Anyway, let's... Let's finish up learning swords. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Weapons, swords. Let's learn. E let's learn everything we can about that, because then we can actually beat this guy in a duel. Thrusting your blade through armor to disable or kill your opponent. The advanced techniques only have multiple opponents at once. Swag. Okay. Danger on the high seas. Uh, watching the enemy movements closely, and shouting out any necessary changes in plans. The Shanzians half again doesn't look promising. Your skill in long range, uh, still only one of you. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we failed to repel the invasion. So what are we going to do this weekend, people? Um. Let's get more angry. Why not? Um. See, we've mastered that. We could start working on improving our reflexes and flexibility, although I think it's a bit late to try that out. You know, let's try it anyway. Let's get it, let's get it to 50, alright? So, agility, reflexes, agility, reflexes. Yeah, alright. Let's try that, see what happens. <laughs> I am entirely banking on this whole mastering sword work thing working more or less uh yeah okay yep 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 okay so we have to accept his terms and we're fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting now let's try the magic sword sharing moonlight uh 
First he dodged, rolling to the ground, but you recover quickly and strike again. In the confined space of the warded circle, there is nowhere for him to run. The final strike of your moon blade parts his head from his shoulders! You have won! Elodie is victorious! Fantastic Mr. LP is God! <sighs> we won. <sighs> we won. Whew! Boy, am I glad that's over. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm just gonna pause the recording here to check and see uh, just how much time has gone by. It feels like we've done a lot, but I'm not sure. I'll be right back. And apparently, we've done barely anything! We've only recorded for six minutes! So I have until like 4 or 1 o'clock, yes, that's what time it is here right now, to just meander about, I guess. Um. So yeah, <laughs> pieces vaguely more or less restored to the kingdom. Uh, let's just spend this time to master our strategy and logistics, just in case for later. Oh, that might have been handy. <laughs> Strength, means home position. Okay, that might have all been very helpful to know. Once you defeated the king of Shanjia in the duel, the invasion was meant to be over. In practice, this is not quite so easy to expel a foreign army from your lands, particularly when their leadership is falling apart. The remaining Shanjian generals seem surprisingly eager to go home and left without a fuss, but a large number of soldiers has broken ranks and run amok, looting and pillaging their way through Nova just for fun. A number of your royal holdings have been damaged and valuables stolen. Not only do you lose them, but you will have to pay for repairs. With so many renegades on the loose, Nova seems likely to have severe bandit problems for years to come. Shh, Crap. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of a bit of anger and focus on just being willful now. Because now, we should be focusing... On, since we master military and lumen, we should be focusing entirely on internal affairs and stuff. Um, so we'll do one class of... Well, actually, we'll do two classes of internal affairs. Get that almost to 50, but not quite. Yeah, alright. So we, we've already pretty much read all that, alright. There's something going on that no one wants to tell you about. Servants avoid your eyes and scurry away. Ministers converse in low, worried tones. And as far as you can tell, your territory is secure. No more attacks underway, so what could be wrong? You lie awake in bed at night, worrying that perhaps all your choices have been the wrong ones. Time has slipped by so quickly. Only two weeks remain before your birthday celebration and your official uh, coronation's queen. Have you done enough to build a stable Nova? No, probably not. It is traditional for the palace to provide entertainment and refreshment for the common people when a new monarch is crowned. It is a rare opportunity for the poor people <clears throat> of the land to dine like nobles. The size and scope of any such feast depends on what expense the royal treasure is willing to bear. Hold a respectable feast. I'm sure we can afford to give everyone's city some bread and sausage and a bit of cake. <laughs> Let's make sure that we're checking the treasury. You have 6,000. Oh yeah, we can... We'll probably be good. Um, <clears throat> probably. <laughs> not guaranteed. So we're probably not going to be good. But in the meantime, let's study some ciphering. I still... It just seems every time we try to study ciphering and intrigue, something bad happens, and we die, and it sucks, and we lose, and we'll never, ever, ever amount to anything. It's too, it's too much. Okay, yeah. Alright, so we're still learning ciphering. You awaken the sound chanting outside the castle. You stick your head out of the window, see what's happening, and you draw with a gasp. The peasants are rebellion. Rebelling. Then. Hundreds, maybe thousands of them. Spears and pitchforks and torches all screaming for your removal. And here you are in your tower with your armies depleted from the recent war. Of course you have an advantage over the mob. You are a lumen. Do you dare turn your powers on your own people? <laughs> yeah. Boom! March out on them openly and show them that you have the power of the gods behind you. 
what would be difficult against soldiers and armor is instead ridiculously easy against untrained peasants. You barely have to wave your hand and people fall away, screaming and covered in burns. After only a few minutes, the crowd breaks and flees in panics, leaving behind only the wounded too slow to get out of the way of the stampede. <laughs> now let's visit the treasury. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna quickly save. Uh, what? <laughs> like what? What you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna try to dethrone me? <laughs> Please, I got power of the gods, people. Of the gods! The gods! I am a master over all I see and all I know, and now we're gonna spy on our own people by mastering internal affairs. Just so they know. Woohoo! Increased by 25. Oh, sweet! We got to 100. Alright, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. At this time of year, you were celebrating your 14th birthday. You were in height in the school garden, surrounded by your friends. A teacher brought you tea and cakes, while a wealthy merchant's son wove a crown of flowers for your head. It didn't matter so much that you were a princess then. Your title was something for the future. Many of your peers would be a duchess or earls or the like. Someday, but not then. You were children then. Your parents could not attend on the actual day, but they did send wonderful gifts, some for you, some for you to share. A week later, they came for a visit, and your mother took you in, uh, took you with her through the countryside in a splendid carriage. It was the last time you would ever see her. You wonder if, wherever she is, she can see you now. You are 15 years old, a legal adult. Really? You have worked and studied and suffered and prepared, and now the time has come. You kneel before the priestess, barely hearing her words as she recites the blessings. She calls upon the gods to deliver peace, wisdom, and prosperity to you, and through you to all of Nova, and then she calls upon you for your oath of rulership. You will guide and govern and protect your people to the best of your ability, according to law and custom? I will. Will you, to the best of your power, uphold the ideals of love, honor, justice, and mercy? No. I will. Lords and ladies assembled, I present to you the undoubted queen who has sworn you her loyalty. You who have come to give homage, will you do the same? One at a time, the head of each duchy approaches your throne and kneels to swear his or her service to you and your heirs. People of Nova, I give you Elodie, daughter of Fidelia, your true sovereign. What say you all? Long live the tyrant! Long live the tyrant! Long live the god! Thank you, I will. <laughs> oh! I <laughs> was not expecting. Okay, once the star was secure in the throne, Jocelyn returned to his birthplace to focus on deities of Duke of Calaris. He was pursued by many women, but showed little interest in remarrying, directing them instead to his brother, the Duke of Mazamba. Oh, so this is so this is actually the end. The subject of magic and lumens remained slightly uncomfortable for one of the citizens of Nova, particularly f perfectly fine for the queen who had inherited it by divine right, but not something that other people should be aspiring towards. Look at all the terrible things that happened when that power fell into the wrong hands. <laughs> As an openly acknowledged lumen, Julianne, Duchess of Ursa, was met with public suspicion wherever she journeyed outside of her duchy. At times, that suspicion was accompanied with thrown vegetables. <laughs> it did not matter that Elodie supported her fully as a member of the noble court. That only led the commoners to whisper that Juliana was a bad influence on their queen. Juliana's perpetually unmarried state was even more worrying that with those wagging tongues, what if that influence rubbed off on the queen and left no, uh, no heir? But we're getting married. After the failed invasions, relations with Shangia remained tense. First came the recriminations and demands from the Queen of Shangia, devastated by the death of her husband, which Elodie ignored. The next time, the subtler approaches, the quiet gratitude, and the offers for alliances from the ministers who were thrilled to see Tagami gone. Elodie ignored those also, which was just as well, since the next thing to arrive was the preserved head of those traitorous ministers sent by the Queen of Shangia as a warning. There was no sign of war in the immediate future, but there was not likely to be an alliance either. Years later, when both were adult, Elodie, Queen of Nova, and Adair, Duke of Elath, were married. An entire week of public celebrations was set aside for the wedding, and both were bride and groom paraded through the capital on fine white horses from the east. 
Their relationship often seemed to be more one of friends and companions than passionate lovers, but they brought stability to Nova. As the Lumen, it was Elodie's responsibility to defend Nova from monsters' threats. Threats. She decided that the monsters within the realm were every bit as dangerous as those outside, and set, and thus set herself to the task of conquering the old forest. Each monster would have to be identified and carefully studied in order to defeat it without upsetting the balance. It would take many years to reach the heart of the forest, but Elodie was undaunted, and thus Queen Elodie's legacy stretched into the future. Well, there you have it, folks. Long live the tyrant god. And apparently this opened up just a different page. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I was kind of hoping that it would actually go on for longer. That there would be real queen decisions, you know, as once we reached power and stuff. So I guess that ending, well, in a way, it was satisfying and wrapped things up. It was also a bit disappointing. We didn't get to finish my goal of taking over the world, but, on the other hand, we got to burn down a shit ton of villagers. Set them all ablaze with our magical power. It's a good feeling, you know, when you kill people just for fun. I, I mean, not that I, not that I do that. <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyway. So until the next Let's Play, thank you all for watching. Fantastic Mr. LP, out.